New details on the investigation into the death of a teenager with autism who became unresponsive at a private school. The special education student died just days after being restrained inside the classroom. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Adrian Moore. The incident happened last week at the private Guiding Hand School in El Dorado Hills. CBS 13's Rachel Wolf is live at the State Board of Education with more on this investigation. Rachel? Well, we do know now that this 13-year-old boy's name is Max and that he actually lived in Davis, California. We spoke with a friend of the family tonight. She asked that we not use the boy's last name out of respect for privacy for the family. And tonight she wants to set the record straight. 13-year-old Max was severely autistic. He lived in Davis but was attending Guiding Hand School, a private special needs school in El Dorado Hills. He reportedly died after being restrained inside a classroom November 28th. The State Board of Education is investigating what happened, and so is the El Dorado County Sheriff's Department. Initially, reports say the boy was six feet tall and 270 pounds, but a friend of the boy's family says he was five foot four and 170 pounds. The sheriff nor coroner returned our calls for clarification. The school said it used a nationally recognized behavior management protocol to address the situation. A friend of the family who was a clinical psychologist says it could have and should have been handled differently. This procedure should not be legal in any kind of a school setting because there are other things that can be done that are much safer and more advised for a young boy of 13. So this boy was actually a student in the Davis Joint Unified School District. He had an IEP that then transferred to the Guiding Hand School. Now, Davis Joint Unified School District said today students attend and receive educational services at non-public schools when required by their unique needs. No other district students currently attend or have ever attended this school, and we will not be placing students there in the future. They went on to say they feel very bad about what happened to this student, and they are participating in the investigation that the Department of Education now has involving this institution. Back to you. Equally troubling and tragic. All right, Rachel, thanks so much for that live report.